Hello everyone, it's me, Don Marco, and I'm back again with another video. Today, it's the uh, third match of the World Cup qualifiers for Taiwan. It's the second in the group stage. They played Oman away last Thursday and they lost 3-0, but they played our right. Uh, there was no expectations of them to beat Oman anyway. So I'm on, just on my scooter now, I'm gonna rush there. I've got an hour and 15 minutes to get there before kickoff. I've just finished work. The traffic's gonna be bedlam because it's peak time. So let's hope I make the kickoff on time. If I get there with enough time, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the stadium if I can, but it's gonna be a rush. So let's get on my scooter, let's get make our way there now, and let's uh, hope Taiwan can get a win because they've never won in the group stage before of World Cup qualifying. So let's hope they can do that. So come on, tonight we're playing Malaysia. Malaysia beat Kyrgyzstan in the last game. So come on, let's do this. Off we go. Quick update, I'm nearly at the stadium already. Good, fit. Good news is Taiwanese people, they hate when it's cold. It's not even that cold today, I've only got a hoodie on. And I didn't panic. I had a little think of the best way to go so I can get there quickly instead of getting on my scooter and just rushing there like a maniac and going the wrong way. So I'm nearly there now, so that's good. Maybe we'll see some of the Malaysians. There's meant to be 5,000 there tonight. Let's see if we can catch any of them on the video. Busy on this road as expected. There's the outside of Taipei Stadium there behind the trees. That is the stadium. There's parking down here. Way man. Jordy coming through. There's the stadium up there, if you can see it. Show you too much. <laughs> there is space. Here we go. The stadium's in the background there, look. Let's swing around here. This is paid parking. That's why there's space. So this here, the parking is by the away section. These are the away fans down here. Some fellow over there, he had a Malaysian flag before. I just got to the stadium now. I'm busy walking around. It's behind us in the background. I parked, the parking is by the away section. I just spoke to some of the Malaysian fans, but none of them wanted to be on camera, so we just had a quick chat. But uh, this is Taipei Stadium. It's smaller than the one in Kaohsiung. This is only like 20 odd thousand. Kaohsiung's like close to 50, I think. 55 maybe, without looking it up. This side of the stadium, it's uh, not the main entrance. It's just where the parking is. So I'm gonna walk around and show you a bit. I've got a bit of time to do that. But they're pretty strict about bags here. And because I've come straight from work, I do have my work bag with us. So I'm gonna have to get in early because they check everything with a fine tooth comb in uh, Taipei. In Kaohsiung, it was grand. It was just a quick look and then the letters in. So we'll walk around here. I'll give you a look at the stadium, find a bog in that, and uh, see what the crack is with me pal. We're getting towards the main section of the stadium now. This side is the main entrance, but I think our seats that my friend picked are gonna be back around towards the away section. So I'll walk up these stairs in front of us and uh, give you a look at this uh, area here. So you just can up here. And then this should lead 
onto the main section but this area that's a gymnasium over there gym this area is a big multi-complex This area, I can't get back far enough against the wall to show you the stadium. I have to go around the corner. But one thing which I never ever understand is in Taiwan, they always funnel everyone in through one main entrance. And then you have to walk around the stadium and find oh, your seat. It's a bit weird, really, like. And this is everyone being funneled through the main entrance. So this area is a big multi-complex area There's like a arena thing there where they have basketball and concerts and things On this side is the stadium up here This has an athletic stadium and a football pitch and then behind there where I've just showed you there's a gym and all but down the bottom there there's people uh, running and that around the track so this whole area is like a multi-complex area but it's a bit of a pain in the arse to get into the stadium because of that actually a lot of countries in Asia that aren't very big in football they use this multi-complex system so they'll have a lot of different things in the same area it makes sense really that they can use it for all different stuff but it doesn't make the best viewing for a football match but this is what we've got so i'm going to give me mate 10 minutes because i've got a can of coke from work and my bag i'm going to drink that because you kind of take that inside so let's do that now eh? there's people doing tai chi underneath so there's the tai chi there and then above, there's everyone going to the match. And then if I pan up, you'll see the stadium. It'd be better to see the stadium inside than outside. From outside, you can't even really see this stadium from the main road, to be honest. I'm in the queue now, got me ticket. As usual, the queue's taken forever. There's not that many people here, so. Got to push you in. All right, pal. It's a good job. I try to go inside early. I've got a bottle in my bag that I use for water. He wants us to put it on the little bench outside, but I'm going to walk back to my scooter and put it in my scooter. I've put things on that little bench outside before, and when you've got 4,000 people using a bench with their bottles on and that, uh, it's hard to find yours when you come back out. I don't think people intentionally take your stuff, but it's daft, man. Free foods and people with bottles on a bench. It's not out the realms of possibility that someone takes yours by accident. So I'll just quickly walk back around to my scooter, pop it in and walk back. The queue started moving a bit faster than I expected anyway, so it shouldn't be much of a problem if I just hurry me, hurry me little self up. And there is the culprit that sent us back to me scooter. Me soda stream bottle. That's basically saying I love you. Because Taiwan has kickoffs all the time, man. All two of us. Anyway, that's going in there with all my other stuff. And I'm getting back to the match. It was destiny to be sent back because I found a toilet. Happy days. I was dying for a leak, man. I was gutted when he sent us back. I thought, I'm just gonna go inside and use the bog. So now I'm heading back. This is basically the same way I started the video from. It's gonna feel like a proper football match this time. The last one I went to against East Timor, that just felt like a friendly that. There's no one there. This match, there's at least gonna be people there, here. I think because Malaysia is close and people know a bit about Malaysia, it brings some level of excitement and Malaysia's fans are uh, nuts when it comes to football 
So I'm looking forward to this. There's only one gate open. They're checking everyone's bag. Useless man. It's like this every time. It won't even be full inside and most of these people here are gonna miss the kickoff. You know what I mean? All these people are likely gonna miss the kickoff because they've got to check every single bag and they've only got one entrance open. So this is the only place you can buy Taiwan tops at the game. You can't buy them anywhere else. This is a keeper top. Keeper top. Yellow and green is the keeper. And then the blue and the white. The blue is the home and the white is the away. And the price for the tops is 1580 They're the uh, footy tops. They're also selling uh, little cushions and that. Little cushions are 500 a pop. And you can get bags and key rings and stuff. Right, I'm going to go and find my seat. So I might get the kick off. Here we go. Let's find my seat. It's getting busy in here now. I'm in W12 which would be around this way on the corner. One entrance, man. There you go. There's your one entrance. So my friend got the tickets in this section here. So there's just, currently there's just me and this geezer eating a sandwich. I'm gonna wait for my friend to come and then uh, see if he wants to move a bit but later in the game second half i might see if i can try and go down there just sit with my friend for the first half go down there for the second half so here's the match underway come on this is my section literally my section Somehow, I think the claim of 5,000 Malaysian tickets being sold is wide of the mark. There's no way is there 5,000 over there. I know there's no one in this section, right? But the view is much better than where the ultras sit. Where the ultras sit, it's got all the air. Uh, athletic stuff behind the goal it's crap man i don't know why they're sitting why they don't sit in this corner you see all the athletics equipment i don't know why they don't make more effort to move it man it's worse on the other side it's got the big poles just put it wide when it was easier to score how they done that man
Shang against these two more. Still nil nil. Hopefully we can sneak a win here. Like honestly, man, the ball. I'm legging it back round to the other side of the stadium now. I just went to see a couple of my pals from the Taiwan Ultras. And still now to peace, no goals. The attendance was announced on the screen before, 9,000 and something. So it's a lot less than I was expecting. They don't, they don't really market it very well, it's their own fault. Great, back to the game. be game over unfortunately Malaysia won Taiwan nil all effort no quality Malaysia have more quality on the ball loads of time wasting after the score like a bunch of balance but uh I same old same old
Right, that's the end of the match. It finished. Taiwan nil, Malaysia won. Malaysia were the better side, unfortunately. Uh, that's probably Taiwan out the World Cup now, but realistically, they never had any real chance of qualifying anyway. Uh, just hope they can score some goals in the second round stage and get a win against someone, but it's the chances are decreasing. They've got Kyrgyzstan and Oman left to play at home so far they've lost so far they've lost 3-0 away in Oman and 1-0 at home to Malaysia and Malaysia beat Kyrgyzstan 4-3 last week and now they beat uh, Taiwan so Malaysia are on top of the group with 6 points but uh, what the outcome of Oman and Kyrgyzstan is going to ha uh, have an effect on that as well so We'll just see what happens from here. Let's hope we can just see some goals in the future, like in the second round. It was always going to be tough because Taiwan are the crappiest team in the group. Malaysia looked good. Uh, and that's that. I might get some food on the way home. If I get some food, I'll show you what I'm going to eat. If not, that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Taiwan lose again.